Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. The results of a recent CNN analysis of its political campaign coverage found that many viewers were not happy with the current format. This caused the network to create a completely different kind of show that has turned out to be wildly successful. CNN President John Klein explains. We launched uh, a show called Ballot Bowl uh, January 1st. And the, 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 the idea behind Ballot Bowl was that when you measure the, 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 the political coverage, when you look at how much uh, narration uh, is provided by the so-called pundits or reporters versus how much you actually hear from the candidates themselves, the ratio is something like six to one, six times as much of us and to one minute of the actual candidates. And yet when you look at the debates, people, the debate coverage is setting new records. You know, ABC debates, our debates have, have had massive, historically large audiences. Clearly the audience is asking to hear more of the candidates. So we institutionalized that. We just said, here's a show whose format is, you're just going to hear massive amounts from the candidates. We've doubled our ratings on the, in the hours in which we've aired Ballot Bowl. And in another bit of interesting new thing from an old network, CNN has just launched a website that allows consumers to directly publish videos, still photos, and stories they think are newsworthy. We've just uh, launched a beta site uh, called iReport.com. We had launched the iReport effort, uh, the initiative, in order to begin opening the, the doors and the windows to user-generated content. It's been so successful, we're now getting about 15,000 submissions a month, uh, many of them photos, some of them video, uh, it, it, many of them useless, uh, many of them eye-opening and, and critical to our coverage of the news. The next step in launching iReport.com, that's, that is a home for um, unvetted material. So it's, it's, uh, it's a little risky for us because, you know, the reliability uh, of the information is a big part of the CNN brand, but we're, we're working on being able to embrace that sort of submission and turn it right around, not with the CNN brand on it until we've been able to vet it. And for our last story of the day, an ad agency wages war against the lizards, cavemen, ducks, and cartoon superheroes that have revolutionized the business of marketing insurance. DDB Chicago's assignment was to make State Farm stand out from its colorful rivals. DDB's answer was a red dot, which appears like a you are here symbol in each ad. State Farm hopes the red dot becomes as well known an advertising icon as Geico's Gecko or Aflac's Duck. And that's it for this three minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.